Hello, I'm NIU Art Museum Assistant Director Peter Olson. And like most of us, I have been staying at home for the past month, uh, not going out and buying things like tripods for my iPhone. So uh, what I have been doing is enjoying all this artwork that I have hanging up all around. And I would like to share it with the rest of you by making these little videos. So today I want to talk a bit about the photogravure that's hanging behind me in my living room. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Today's artist is Karl Blasfeld, who went to art school in Germany around the turn of the 20th century, but never studied photography. More significantly to his way of seeing the world was an apprenticeship in a sculpture studio. I have been familiar with his unique style my whole life, as there was a Dover paperback of reproductions in my house growing up. Blasfeld taught design at the Royal School of the Museum of Decorative Arts in Berlin and built his own cameras to photograph plants to illustrate his lectures on design and nature. He published a collection of these photographs in 1928 under the title Urformen der Kunst, or Archetypes of Art. This is plate 101 from that book. The photographs are printed as photogravures, a printmaking process where a copper plate is exposed and etched with a photographic image. The resulting print is much sharper and richer than other commercial printing techniques would allow. The sheet size here is 9.5 by 12 inches and features three images. As you saw at the beginning of this video, others have only one or two. Blasfeld magnified his plants between two and 30 times and printed them in black and white, emphasizing their sculptural, even architectural qualities. I love these images, which are simultaneously modern and primeval. The first plant depicted here is known as Queen Anne's thistle, represented at twice its normal size. And here, for comparison, is a color snapshot which further reveals the uniqueness of Blasfeld's style. In the center, we have Flomus umbrosa, magnified four times. I enjoy tracking down the origins of scientific names for plants and animals. Flomus is Greek for flame. Indeed, the leaves are rather flame-like in shape. Apparently, these plants were also once used as wicks in lamps. A Google search reveals that an extract from this plant is now used in menopause-relieving supplements. But I digress. The last photo is a species of salvia flower magnified six times. This image could easily be mistaken for a detail of the metal ornamentation on an Art Deco building. I'll conclude by circling back around to an image I discussed in an earlier video, Gabor Petrides' Wisteria, which also depicted nature's flora in a dark vertical column, isolated against a stark blank background, as if to single the image out for study and contemplation. Thanks for listening. I will see you next time.